bright duty every student matters hello everyone coming to the second part of the chapter markets around us is the concept of understanding the wholesale markets we did talk about we in brief about the wholesale market it is time for us to understand elaboratively like we did in the concept of the retail markets to know about the wholesale market now over and above the retail markets there is a wholesale market from where the retailers buy different articles so there has to be a wholesale market from where the retailers are buying their articles now wholesaler is one who buys products in large quantities directly from the producer and sells it usually to the retailer so you are someone if you can see the stock in here the someone who is buying the product in large quantities from the producer and selling it ahead to the retailers now retailers who buy these products further sell it to the consumers or small small time sellers so these are the people who actually buy it and sell further on to the consumers the wholesalers act as intermediaries between the producers and the retailers if you remember the chain that i made it is that they are acting as the intermediaries between the retailers and the producers usually they deal in few selected items which they specialize in only since it is to be bought in abundance they only deal in certain specialized items we are talking about the functions of wholesalers in order to maximize their business wholesalers perform various functions in the market what are these functions firstly wholesalers are provided goods directly by the manufacturers so wholesalers are the ones who are providing the goods which are taken directly from the manufacturers so the key adequate stock very important they keep adequate stock of these goods so as to make them available to the resellers as and when required so they have to maintain that adequate stock of any of the product that they are keeping in stock so that whenever the retailer requires it they are able to present it or they are able to give it to them wholesalers purchase goods in large quantities and sell them in small quantities to a number of retailers so you as a wholesaler will have large quantities and give the products to a number of retailers and not just one person wholesalers make an agreement for holding stock to meet the needs of the retailers from time to time it is something that you know there's an agreement with the producer or with the companies that we will hold a stock so that we are able to provide it at the time of the need to the retailers as they deal with goods in large quantities wholesalers need to invest large amount of money and also requires vast space like warehouse and go downs since they have so much to store they need and they need money to buy so much and hence their investment is large and they have they need space to store so much and hence their they require vast spaces for the storage wholesalers help the retailers to order and have stock at their doorsteps by providing sales personals and transportation so whenever i require something as an wholesaler the wholesaler is also getting business so he actually makes it possible for the retailer to get all the services available and all the products available at their own doorsteps whenever it is required wholesalers provide credit facilities as well credit facilities that we talked about in the terms of retailers as well credit facilities to the retailers though sometimes they provide advance money to the manufacturers for having the stock as well so whenever you buy a product okay fine you have taken the product when some of it is sold you may or after some point of time you may give the money for the whole 
and hence is the credit facility that takes place in case of the wholesalers moving ahead wholesalers undertake the activities like advertising and sales promotion to increase the demand of the product they have to sell the product as well they have bought such a large quantity from the company or the producer now they also become accountable for the sale of that product and hence they actually get into the process of advertising and sales promotion we just have to sell it how we have to figure out they have to bear the risk of loss which may be due to the spoilage or damage of goods changes in demand prices fluctuations etc i have taken i am a, a, you know of a, a i am a wholesaler of bisleri bottles and the bisleri bottles are available today at the rate of 200 per bottle now tomorrow it is the demand goes very down and the company reduces the cost to let's say 150 i already have the stock of 200 bottles which i bought at rupees 200 and now i will have to sell it at rupees 150 i who will bear this loss i as a wholesaler will bear this loss also if there is you know some kind of a, a spoilage that happens some kind of a damage that happens who will bear that loss loss i will bear that loss as a wholesaler and that is the challenges in the life of the wholesaler wholesalers get feedback from shopkeepers about the choice the preference of the consumers the choice and the preference of the consumers and pass on the information to the manufacturers the consumer are asking for a chips let's say x the retailer will tell the con- the wholesaler that you know the demand for this chips is getting very high and the wholesaler ahead will tell to the producers or the manufacturers and hence the produce of that product will go high now they act as a two way channel between the producers and the retailers here is the producer and here is the retailer they are the one bridging this gap they are the one who are maintaining the communication between these two entities the spread information regarding the new products and the changes in the price to the retailers if there's some new new product that has been launched they tell it to the retailers if there's some price change that has taken place they tell it to the retailers at the same time they inform the manufacturers about the demand of their products as well you know the, the same kind of a chain that we have seen out here also they help in avoiding shortage or the scarcity of the goods so they kind of maintain the balance like i said between the producers and the of uh, uh, the retailers by maintaining that demand and supply chain here you demand they will keep the supply with them and further on supply here in you demand more they will tell them to supply more and hence it is a two way process for them now how and what do you understand by intermediaries what are basically their roles let's understand a market serves as a link between the producer and the consumers the more i want the more as the public we want to consume the more the producer will have to manufacture the more the producer will manufacture there is a very you know there's not always a necessity that the consumer will consume in that much of amount but the relationship the balance between these two are to be balanced and which is a very very important skill now the producers along cannot sell goods directly to the customers or the consumers this is not possible so what happens they need a market where their products are sold to the consumers so here and you know not every uh, coca cola person or not every coke person will come to you and sell you or give you the products but here and you will need a market where in all of these products are available similarly a consumer also needs a place where he can buy all the products and services he needs 
I will not go to a separate person to buy milk and a separate person or a separate, you know, a separate wholesaler to buy chips and to separate wholesaler to buy uh, maybe cold drinks with it and a separate wholesaler to buy some chocolates or and a separate wholesaler to buy bon vita and a separate wholesaler to buy bread. I want a marketplace wherein all of these things are available at the nearby distances. So, this link between the producer and the consumer is usually established by the middlemen or the intermediaries. The middlemen may be the wholesalers or the retailers who buy and resell the goods for profit. So, you are basically buying the product and reselling the product for the profit and that is where your major major uh, you know agenda or role is they may be commission agents and stockholders you might be you know your go down will be full of products and you may be based on commission that the more you sell the more commission that you get and you know or you are just holding that stock they may be banks, transporters or warehouses which help in the flow of goods and services or the charge. So it is, you know, you may be a bank who is charging you X amounts to give you certain services. You may be a transporter who is charging you X amount to give you certain other services and hence those are the roles that are the middlemen providing. In terms of the services, you need someone to, pro, you know, to get the product from the manufacturer or from the producer to the wholesaler. So again, the transporter is trying to bridge in that gap and hence providing services. And hence, we, the middlemen between the, uh, between the producer and the wholesaler. Exactly in the same way, bank, if the wholesaler is needing some kind of a loan, to actually give the credit, to actually pay in advance to the producer, the bank plays, the bank services plays an important role. All of these things are considered as the intermediary. What are the roles of these? Their first function or first role is providing products to the consumers or the customers. The most important work is to provide all the product products that the customers require at the convenient at the affordable prices. You should be able to provide them the products of their need at the convenient at the affordable prices. The middleman or second one is providing information. The middleman informs the producers about the changes in the customer's taste. So that they may change, bring change in the products according to the customer's taste. Horlicks was something which used to come as a plain original taste or bon vita for that matter. The demand for having the caramel flavor or the chocolate flavor came in the market which was being conveyed by the produce, by the retailers to the wholesalers and from the wholesalers to the uh, producers and hence these flavors, flavored, uh, you know, powders or drinks were being available. So it is playing a very important role of providing information to the wholesaler and also to the people, to the producer, to the, uh, you know, uh, acting similarly, the middleman brings out new products of producers in knowledge of the customers. In a way, it is providing the knowledge to the wholesalers of what the customers need and also to the customers of what the wholesalers have got new in the market so that the consumption can be increased. Also, keeping the prices low is a very, very major aspect and a very, very major role. This creates competition among the middlemen to sell the products and hence keep the prices in check. You have to keep the check on who's selling at what price so that you're able to balance the price, manage your profit and yet sell the products to the customers. Sometimes such competition help in reducing the prices, thus benefiting the consumers as well. I am sending a pen at rupees 10. You are sending the same kind of a pen with same specification at rupees 20. This is what in 
refuses competition why will i as a consumer go to here, go here when i'm getting the same quality here that is what competition is and the a uh, customer gets benefited due to this in the markets there are number of middlemen who deal in the same product of the different producers and besides this the middlemen have large storehouses where they can store the goods this helps them in bringing down the transportation charges and the amount incurred on handling goods you have one big go down which you have filled in one go only So your transportation charges were not that much, and your handling of the goods charges is not that much, and hence you even if you want to manage your profit, you can still sell the product at a lesser cost as compared to someone who has to again and again give the transportation and the good handling charges. Therefore, they can sell the products by keeping a little margin as their profit. another one is about providing funds sometimes middlemen pay huge advances to the producers for goods and services they need so whatever i need from you as a wholesaler i will tell you to manufacturing manufacture it and give you some money in advance this helps producers in buying raw material for the production of their goods and in turn they bargain with the producers for their prices i supported you with the price of the raw material when it was required by you now i will bargain for the price that you will sell the product to me and hence is here the a the role of providing funds come into be this is how and this is where your concept of wholesalers are actually being explained